Your enemies are threatened by your resilience. They're terrified. They're scared to death, brothers and sisters. You got a lot of people shocked out there. The witches, the warlocks, the gang stalkers, the monitoring spirits, they don't know what to do. Why? Because they all came against you. And they tried everything in their power to destroy you. But somehow, and we know that somehow it's God, you bounce back quickly and recover. You are a survivor. Somebody put on in the comments below, I'm a survivor. You have survived the unimaginable, the unthinkable, brothers and sisters. Things that you went through, people would have died off a long time ago. Amen. Situations and circumstances that you were placed in. Amen. People would have gave up a long time ago. And today I want to let you know that it's God giving you the strength to be able to withstand anything that family, friends, the dark forces, anything that they throw at you, you'll be able to withstand it and survive. Now, I'm going to go to the definition of resilience so you can see just how powerful you are, okay, and why God gave you this, all right? God knew that you were going to need this resilience, all right? He knew that you were going to have to be mentally tough, okay? Let's go there. It says resilience, the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulty, toughness, the remarkable resilience of so many, right? So you have the ability to go through trauma, go through problems, trials, troubles, situations, and recover quickly. People who've been through what you've been through don't recover. It takes people years after years to get over these things. This is why they're shocked. This is why they're scared. Now, also, I'm going to go ahead to another part of this uh, definition, and it says an ability to recover or adjust easily to misfortune. That's a breakthrough. A lot of you have had word curses and you had witches and warlocks send spells of misfortune to your life. Some of you have had financial delayments from the enemy. And by the grace of God, by the works of God, you were able to recover. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I'm resilient. You are resilient. You can come back from anything. Come on, let me get a man powerful. Everything the enemy has thrown at you, you bounce back. Amen. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I will never give up. You can't. You must endure it and trust in God and know that you're going to get through it. Amen. Sometimes you got to go through it to get to it. Amen. The role was never promised to be easy, but what's promised is victory. <laughs> Come on, let me get amen. Somebody put out in the comment section below, victory is mine. Thus say the Lord. See, you're going to get the victory, baby. Amen. Let's go to scripture. Let me show you this. Now, this brings me to a scripture, and I'm going to show you that the most high God is the one who has given us resilience. Amen. Let's go there. Isaiah 40, 28 says this. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. So I want you to know something right now. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he don't faint. Come on, let me get him in. It's powerful. Yeah. The alpha the Omega, the beginning and the end, he don't faint. Amen. And neither do he get weary. He don't get tired. Now, we're going to go down to the next verse. It says this. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases strength. You see that? Who should we go to? When we're weak, 
Who should we go to when we don't have strength? The most high. We got to go to the most high. Because what is he going to do? He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increased the strength. Hasn't God done that for you? I know that God's done that for me before. Where I was feeling weak. Out of it. And out of nowhere. Listening to the word of God. Meditating on the word of God. Day and night according to Psalms 1. My strength came back. Has that happened in your life brothers and sisters? Where God has. Increase your strength. See, it's directions here. If you're weak right now, call on God. He will be the one to give us strength. Amen. Let's keep going. It says this. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Here it is. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Come on, let me get in this powerful. There's something very important right here that we should do. And it's in the beginning of this verse. Somebody put it in the comment section below. Wait on the Lord. See, sometimes... In life, we can be trying to do things in our own power. Sometimes in life, we try to take things in our own hand. But if we wait upon the Lord, He will renew our strength. Amen? We will, we will mount up with the wings as eagles. We will run and not be weary. And we shall walk. And not faint. Somebody put down in the comment section below. I'm in first place. When you keep the most high. Your shelter. And your habitation. And you wait on the Lord. Amen. To give you that strength. You go to God for the renewal of the strength. You will always be in first place. Because you're getting your strength from the main source. The most high. Is the main source. You literally have a spiritual presence there for you to literally give you strength when you're running out. That's powerful. When you think about a car running out of gas and the car runs out of gas. You're not in front of a gas station. But when you run out of gas, you literally got God right there for you. All you got to do is call his name. Somebody put it on the comments below. I will call God's name and he will give you a refill. He'll fill you back up. This is the resilience that you have. A lot of you have been refilled since you were children. Oh man, that's powerful. Some of you have been going through trials. Troubles and all kind of difficulty since you were babies. And you notice you always get refilled. <laughs> That's powerful. What a word of God. Come on now. Somebody put down in the comment section below. I need a refill, God. Somebody put that down there right now. See, I want to make this absolutely clear. If you're feeling weak, if you need strength, if you need a refill, call on God. Wait on the Lord. Sometimes we can run our race and be weary. But if we wait on God, let's read it again. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. You ain't going to faint. Amen. Come on. Let me. Uh, somebody put it on the comment section below. I won't faint. Come on now. No matter what they take you through. No matter if you've been overworked and underpaid. Amen. No matter if they lie on you 
while you're running this race. No matter if they create smear campaigns, gossip, slander to try to stop you. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I won't faint. Somebody put that down right now. Powerful. You won't faint. Because God is with you in this race. You are in first place. All praises to the Most High. Stay righteous.